What is going on guys, Chris here and welcome back to another video. Now in today's episode of Can Chris Solve, we're going to be trying to solve the Land Land Diamond. The past few puzzles I've done have been quite challenging actually. We had the Volcano Cube, we've had the uh, Fisher Wheel of Time. So I've decided to kind of take it easy in this video and kind of do just a 3x3 shape mod. Although it might be a little bit tricky, there's quite a lot of centre caps going on here. Um, we'll see. I'm sorry that I didn't upload a video last week. I was going to, but I just didn't have time to actually film anything and I thought if I rushed it, it would just make a pretty crappy video. So I decided to just hang on a week until I had more spare time and here I am now. So I am sorry about the delay. Uh, if you are upset about that, let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to push out videos every single week. But um, yeah, let's just get started. Let's see if we can solve the Land Land Diamond. Okay, so let's get started on this guy. So obviously here is the diamond and I don't really know where to start with this. I should really have looked at the puzzle when it was solved, but my housemate scrambled them all for me. So I don't really know what it should look like, <laughs> but um, judging by the centerpieces, I think we can probably figure it out. Um, so I'm just going to start with a random face. I'm going to start with this one. Uh, and I assume what I have to do is match up uh, my centers so that they all make a, a colour in common, I suppose. So, just like this. So we have orange here, blue here, we will have white here, and we will have green here. Uh, I'm going to try my best to make my centres match up. So there's our green one, and then we just need a white. So, yeah, this should be fairly straightforward, just as a 3x3 three three shape mod. There's our, there's our cross. Uh, I'm a bit worried about parity though, because obviously this edge uh, is exactly the same as this edge and if you flip it, it doesn't actually mean anything uh, in terms of the shape mod but it, when you think about it as a 3x3, three three, one flipped edge can kind of ruin the whole puzzle so I'm going to have to bear that in mind um, but let's just let's just try and, and do the rest of the puzzle now so uh, I don't think I will do F2L, it might be a bit too complicated for me so uh, let's see which face. So this is our bottom face So when we're putting in a corner now, we're going to want a white blue and red. So let's see if we can find that guy uh, can I? I don't even know what I'm looking at right now There are no white blue and reds white blue and red, huh? interesting oh I see what's going on here, okay so basically I've matched up this white with the wrong white, so it must be this guy over here. Um, yeah, that makes a bit more sense. Because now we have white, blue and green rather than white, blue and red. Um, so, interesting, I'm going to sort out my center pieces so that they all match up now. Um, Cool, it's cool how there's two different ways to do your cross, one of which is entirely wrong and the other one which is kind of right. Uh, but that has kind of set us back a few minutes, so it's okay, we'll sort this out. Okay, so here's our redone cross, and I think this looks a little bit better. Uh, we already have a corner in here, so that's good. Uh, cool, so I'm going to go ahead and, and do F2L, I'm going to pop this edge down here. Uh, so let's do that. That should be our first F2L pair, and it is, awesome. So these guys are now done. Maybe I can do F2L here. Uh, let's see if we can actually. So we have white, which is, no that's not correct. Is that just the wrong one? Perhaps, let's see what happens. If we pop you in. Okay, that's definitely not right. Oh, we want red, okay. So we want white on the bottom. So I'm just trying to figure out how, how I would do this intuitively. Oh, hang on, we have another problem here. Am I just messing with the wrong corner? Oh yeah, obviously. Okay, so that's the wrong corner. This one just can't be flipped the right way, it seems. Or is it a mirror? Oh, it's a mirror. So we have white, green, red, white, red, green. So it's a, we've got to pay attention. So maybe we won't have parity if that's the case, because that's a specific center, a specific corner that goes into a specific place. So looking at that then, I know that this guy is going to go in here, we need our yellow edge, 
Um, cool, so this is coming together quite nicely. I am a bit scared about the top layer though. Uh, so let's just pop in our final, our final pieces. So, so that's the wrong corner, meaning this is the right one. Cool. And then let's just use F2L to get it in the right slot. Ta-da, F2L complete. Gosh, this is really confusing actually. I, I'm trying my best to figure out what's going on here, especially in this last layer. So one thing that I've noticed is that we only have two side colors here. We have red and yellow. So it should be quite easy to tell which pieces are oriented correctly or not. And currently none of them are. So let me try and figure that out actually. So I think we've got like the, the chameleon, is that what it's called? Oh god no. No, what did I do? No. 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 I'm going to take a time out. I'm going to get back to where I started and then Maybe then we can continue. We're back and we've got F2L sorted again, which means we're on our final layer. So, we're back where we started and I've noticed that we have our red piece oriented here. So that did do us a favor. It looks like we might have a soon case because none of the others are oriented correctly. So I'm gonna do the soon algorithm. Just like so. And did that work? Oh, that oriented all of our corners for us. And they seem to be in the right place? No. So you are in the right place. You are not. You are in the right place. You are not. I'm going to just assume that these are all correct. Uh, so I'm going to do our corner permutation algorithm and that's put these two in the right place. So we've got headlights. So if we do it again, what now? Okay, cool. So, do we have parity here? I think we do. Yeah, so as you can see here, we have a parity in that we can't really switch these two pieces on their own. Um, so what I'm gonna try and do, which I can't, I can't think of why this would be a problem, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to swap out these two edges. So I'm going to put this one down here and this one up here. Um, it's an easy enough algorithm. Oh, we solved it. That was all we had to do. Interesting. And then I think we just need to flip this with an algorithm. Oh, cool. Cool. Okay. So basically what I think happened is we just had a last layer edge in our first layer and we had to just swap it around and that solved the problem for us. And that did take a little bit longer than expected. We came into a few problems that I wasn't expecting, including me just messing up algorithms, but regardless, we managed to solve the puzzle and well, there you go. The Landland Diamond is solved. Okay then, we managed to solve the Landland Diamond with some difficulty. I was pretty confident that I was going to solve this puzzle, I'm going to be honest, um, I'm kind of getting good at shape mods now, it's just sometimes it takes a little while to get my head around it, and also I need to stop using two look algorithms because they just don't work, but regardless we managed to solve it, I hope this video has been okay for you guys, sorry it's gone on a bit, as I said I just came into a few complications, and Again, sorry that this video is late. I will try my best to get back on schedule, but do let me know if you have any suggestions and I will see about making those kind of videos as well. Anyway, if you've enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. As I said, leave a comment down below and then subscribe and you'll be notified every time I make a new video. Have an awesome day.